Piaget argued development precedes learning, holding that we interpret the world through mental schema, allowing us to make sense of our environment. Learning happens when facing situations our mental schema cannot easily process, leading to disequilibrium. To re-equalize itself, the mind either assimilates new information or adapts to using new skills. Piaget calls this process of assimilating new information and skills into our pre-developed schema, learning. Vygotsky agrees that learning happens by interacting with our environment. However, counter to Piaget, Vygotsky argues that learning precedes development. He holds that our present state of development is enhanced when confronted with new tasks just out of reach of our present abilities. The gap between our pre-existing development and what we can accomplish with the help of others is called the zone of proximal development. Vygotsky focuses on how proper instruction raises our ability through the ZPD as we internalize new information and skills. Learning takes place in the ZPD and precedes individual development. Piaget's theory deals more with states of development and mental schema, in line with Kant. Vygotsky's dialectical theory focuses mainly upon how instruction and society at large impacts learning, in line with Marx and Hegel. I find Vygotsky's theory more valuable as an educator because it focuses on the role teachers and society play in student learning and development. My, 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 my.